Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. Today we are going to speak about a very interesting topic which is Treasury Management System or shortly known as TMS. You might have heard about this topic several times in the newspaper, Google, magazine and sometimes in the Bloomberg TV and this topic is right now very very prevalent. In fact, a lot of business channels are uh, talking about this since we understand that a lot of volatility is happening in the currencies and a lot of frauds which are happening across the globe. So this topic is not all about treasury management system but we try and cover an impact of fraud as well in this topic. From this side I am Rahul Magan, I am talking on behalf of Treasury Consulting LLP which is my own startup and I am acting, acting as a chief executive officer in that regards. You are always welcome to contact us at, at, at uh, Treasury Consulting LLP at the rate gmail.com and Rahul Magan 8 at the rate gmail.com. My contacts are 9899242978. When it comes to treasury management system, what is a treasury management system? Take a very simple example. Treasury management system cannot be under, under, understood without having a deep understanding of this, which is known as ERP. What is an ERP? ERP stands for Enterprise Risk. Enterprise ERP stands for a software which will help you doing everything. Like currently you have Oracle and then you have SAP right now you have Oracle there are some people who are also using JD Edwards now ERP covers everything ERP you know ERP covers your human resource ERP cover your finance ERP cover your uh, procurement ERP cover your salaries ERP cover your treasury ERP covers your profit and loss, ERP covers your consolidation, taxes, you know, your uh, PNL, your GL ledgers and everything. Now when it comes to ERP is nothing but you just put the data and you get an answer. So there could be a possibility of a garbage in and garbage out as well. Because there is one, one feature which ERP do not have and cannot have is analytics. ERP do not have analytics. Now over the period we understand that especially post 2008 lot of volatility has happened in the market, banks falling down, growth rate falling down, companies are into deep trouble. In fact yesterday also I was reading in the newspaper when it was saying that companies are facing the biggest issue when it comes to their growth rate, frauds are very prevalent, Indian banking system is facing fraud of approximately 5 lakh 80 thousand crores that is the last count when they did which is March 2016. The relevant figure of June 2016 is not yet available but I am sure that as and when the figure of June 2016 would be there you know you will see a lot of uh, you will see the higher amount you will definitely not see the lower amount although Reserve Bank of India has made it mandatory that you should put a red flag on that and EDC, EDC lot of effort which are going on. So in that regards there are a lot of frauds which are happening in the company and we understand that treasury is one of the biggest department, one of the best and best functional department in the company. Treasury is not an invoice punching function wherein few people will sit, you know, I'm with due respect who are not very good and highly educated, what they are going to do, they just do the invoice punching and XYZ. Treasury is a function which is going to be managed by the professional and unfortunately this is not the scene in India. But if we talk outside India, then 99.99% treasuries would have one software which is known as TMS, shortly known as Treasury Management System. I hope you people heard about a word which is a very well known word. We have uh, ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning. You, you, you must have heard about a word which is uh, Murex and Calypso. These two are the best treasury management systems we have across the globe and believe me the valuation of these two is more than 2 million dollars per uh, license per license per year. So how are we going to tackle this? Very simple. Now treasury management system would be divided into four parts. You would have treasury front office, you have treasury middle office, you have treasury back office and you have treasury reporting office. Treasury reporting, reporting office is also known as CFO desk. Sometimes some people will also say, say that CFO reporting office. So treasury front office that is, is the desk which is reporting which is facing the market like when I was working with EXL then I was facing the treasury front office. Now in this I was taking care of the treasury front office wherein I was facing the foreign exchange market, I was facing the debt and I was facing the fixed income market. 
I was also taking care of Treasury Middle Office, which is taking policies. What is Middle Office? As the word rightly said, the Middle Office is between Treasury Front Office and Back Office, and this is going to give the policies. So Front Office is the office which days in days in day out dealing with the foreign exchange market, fixed income market, valuation, and lot of stuff. On the other hand, Middle Office is the office which will make good policies. Take a simple example. I am going to take a uh, example of a company which is very well known, say Cap Gemini. I will say Cap Gemini is hedging for four years. It's just a simple hypothetical example, may or might not true. I will say Cap Gemini hold for hedging for four years. Now Cap Gemini is hedging for four years. On the other hand, their nearest competitor, which is say Genpact, where I am sure that they are hedging for five years. Why Genpact is hedging for five years? Why you are hedging for four years? Cap Gemini is much bigger than Genpact in the revenue size. What is the permutation combination you are having? What is the benefit do you, do you have? And so on and so forth. This is what Treasury Middle Office is all about. So they will make the policy and they will submit to the board and of course the department. It is up to a department if they want to take it, they will take it. If they don't want to take it, they don't take it. But ideally, it is always advisable to take such policies. Then you have Treasury Back Office. Unfortunately, Treasury back office is termed as the most Sarkari department in any company, the department which is doing only documentation. But this is not the case. In the last few years, there is one thing which has changed the scene, which is known as e-banking. E-banking has just changed the scene. Now, how e-banking has changed the scene? E-banking means electronic banking, and electronic banking requires user ID, password, and lot of stuff. So that is going to be that is going to be held by the Treasury back office. Now, if you are dealing with the back office, if you are now back office would have one stuff which is e-banking. That is why their role is also getting very important. Take a simple example. I am the person who is acting as a vice president of the company, and what I am doing, I am leaving the company. I have the right user ID and password which I have not submitted, and they are still working. Although I left, but I can use this user ID and password in sharing, in sending the sending the millions of dollars of the company to any place. Of course. This depend upon the limits as well, but still there is a biggest risk. So frauds are rising at a highest level, and it is it is advisable for corporate treasury function to have treasury management system in place. The fourth is is the CFO desk, which is a reporting office. So what they do, they simply fetch out the data and make the report. But how these all will work? Please be note that treasury management system is not a standalone software. Like you have Murex and Calypso, they work with ERP. Now e enterprise resource planning. They work with SAP, Oracle, JD Edwards, the, the top three enterprise resource planning softwares we have across the globe. Now, similarly, you are going to integrate this strategy management system. Taking an example of Murex with the ERP and whatever data you wanted to fetch, you can fetch. There are many companies in India. I cannot name them here on the video, but what they are doing, they are standalone putting the data into a system, which is also correct to an extent. But this is not a very, very good practice. If you stand alone putting the data, then this is not a good practice. Rather, you should put the data in the ERP, and then you will get it. Simplistically speaking, that treasury management system should be used as an analytical software than a data punching software because ERP is a data punching software. One functionality which ERP do not have is analytical, but one functionality which the treasury management system is always having is analytical. So even if today you are those who are watching this video. And you are having our treasury management system in place. Then don't make it an analytical. Uh, don't make it a data punching. Make it an make it an analytical software. Last but not the least, in the treasury management system, you are having variety of people who are playing their role. The first you have the treasury analyst. Then you have treasury business manager. Then you have treasury reporter. Then you have treasury approver. Now treasury analyst is the person who is only punching the numbers. His role or her role. Requires only punching the number. On the other hand, you have treasury business manager. He is a person who is validating the stuff, who checking whether things are right, things are not right, things are moving in the right direction, etc., etc. Then you have treasury reporter. Now this treasury reporter is that gentleman who who is taking care of the CFO desk. Desk. His job is to make sure that all the reporting or the pattern or the formats which they have made in the treasury management system. Should he would be able to only take it? Please be note that this is a very sensitive and confidential job. If he or she is the kind of person who would love to deliberate or tell about the tell about the numbers to the people outside the market, outside uh, the company, then it's going to be a big mess mess for the company. 
then you have treasury approver treasury approver is a person who is going to finally approve everything when it comes to analyst business manager and so on so forth so before winding up the video i would like to give a small uh, summary in the 5 minutes treasury management system is a system which is highly analytical in nature it is not enterprise resource planning or a simple erp which is punch, punch in punch out ERP would have a problem which is garbage in and garbage out, which is definitely a case with e with the DMS. If you if you make it just a data punching software, not an analytical software. Treasury management system is generally divided into four parts. You have treasury front office, you have treasury middle office, you have treasury back office, and you have treasury reporting office. Now, treasury front office is the office who is facing the market. Treasury middle office is the is the office who is facing the policies. Treasury back office is the office which is facing the documentation. On the other hand, Treasury reporting who is taking out the report. Now, these are the roles and responsibilities you generally find in a Treasury management system. You have an analyst, you have a business manager, you have a reporter, you have an approver. Now, you can, in 99.99%, you will sync the Treasury business, uh, you will sync the Treasury ERP with the you will sync, sync the treasury management system with the ERP which is generally SAP, Oracle and JD Edwards and this will help you in nutshell treasury management system will help you to mitigate the frauds treasury management system will help you to uh, basically to have a control over the activities which people are doing treasury management system will help you to have an audit trail and last but not the least, in case some XYZ or some offense, fraud or abuse would have happened, then this gentleman who is the reporting person would be able to tackle the same. At the end, would like to stress that Treasury Consulting LLP is a limited liability partnership firm. We are coming up with our website and believe me, we are going to have offer our services to all corporates, banks and financial institutions in understanding of our Treasury Development System and this, these are our contact details treasury consulting llp at the rate gmail.com and rahulmangan8 at the rate gmail.com you're always welcome to contact us at 9899242978 thank you and uh, with this uh, those all corporate treasures i hope you would have tms soon thank you